when a Formula One car goes around a corner, the tyres are always sliding and it's the sliding that allows them to generate the force. So if you imagine a front tyre here, it's pointing in this direction, but it'll be sliding. It'll actually be travelling over here, for instance, and that allows it to generate a cornering force. Now, the difference between where it's pointing and where it's travelling, so when it's sliding, is called the slip angle of the tyre. Now we're going to have to look at it in terms of the whole car. If we think about what's happening with an entire car, so you've got all four tyres. So there we've got the rear axle of the car. Here you've got the front axle. And we'll draw these with some steering angle on them. Right, so same as we had before. The tyres are pointing in this direction at the front but they may well be traveling in that direction. So there's a front slip angle here, and they're gonna be generating a force to help the car go around the corner. And if you look at the rear, traveling in this direction, the rear and um, the back of the car will also be sliding. So that's where the tire is actually heading. This is where it's pointing, and this forms the rear slip angle. Now, whether a car's understeering or oversteering is purely dependent on what's happening at those slip angles. And if the slip angle at the front is bigger than the rear, we say the car's understeering. And if the slip angle at the rear is bigger at the front, then you're in an oversteer situation. The, the other interesting thing with, with understeer or oversteer is if you're understeering and you're driving in circles and you get faster and faster, those circles will get bigger and bigger. If you're oversteering and you're going in circles getting faster and faster, they'll actually get tighter and tighter. And an oversteer car is less stable, as you often hear the drivers complaining about that. But equally, when you've got too much understeer, you can't put the thing where you want it. It just won't turn in. It won't grip to get, it, get the front end to go around the corner correctly. And understeer can be a problem. So, Really, the engineers spend a lot of their weekend battling with this with the drivers, trying to get it just where they want it, whilst everything else might be changing around them. The weather, the circuit conditions, the, the track temperature. So it all makes it quite difficult. Just to bring that into our sort of everyday experience, why are passenger cars more 